Welcome back fellow space engineers, I am the Linking Tinker and this is the fifth video in the tutorial series on how to use the Easy Automation Program. Now in this tutorial we're going to be going over how to use the skip and end statements. Now these statements are pretty useful if you want to end the code prematurely or skip over a bit of the code so that you don't run into some problems that you might run into if you weren't able to do that. I developed this little bit of functionality for the Easy Automation program because of this little quirk that I found here. So when this comes back you'll see a little anomaly. There. At the very end it went a little too far and then it came back. I noticed this happening and it was a little worrisome because it's not something that I had programmed in there or at least that I had thought I had programmed in there. So let's take a look at why that happens. Now in this case it didn't really cause any damage or is really very noteworthy at all but in the future for other types of programs, for other types of automations, it, it might be able to save you from something catastrophic. So let's go in here and take a look at the code. So we have a left to right code block and a right to left code block. And these are the code blocks that the buttons that I pressed out there run. And here we've got a referenced code block position left and a referenced code block position right and another referenced code block position center. And it uses these other code blocks to put the crane into the correct position and then it turns the gravity generators on and off to pick up and place the items. So let's take a look at position center because that's where the problem happened and here we have position center code block and it checks if the current angle of the crane rotor is greater than 300 degrees and in the case where I pressed the red button, it was at, after the, at the end of the code. So basically, since it's true, it will bring the gravity crane back into the central position. But then when it's done with this, it will continue on and also check if the current angle of the crane rotor is less than 60 degrees. And since it's currently less than 10 degrees here, it will also be less than 60 degrees, so this will also be true and it will run this, but we don't want this to run. So how do we avoid running extra code when we just want to end the code here? Well, it's pretty simple. All we gotta do is at the end of this if statement, say skip. And the skip statement basically says that this is the end of this code block so skip to the end of the code block and go back to whatever code block referenced it. And that's very handy because you can have certain conditions say that we want this to end. So we also have the end statement and this basically ends the code altogether. It does not return to the code block that referenced it. It does not continue executing any more code it just ends right there. All right, so that is basically how you use the end and skip statements. If we run this again, we'll see that it also, it no longer does a little like jagged thing at the end there. So this is basically the end of the tutorial series as such. Uh, you've pretty much, we've pretty much gone over everything that this, this easy automation program is capable of. Well, not capable of, but can do. Here it is. There, it just stopped. No little jerky motion at the end. Ah, uh, so good. So, we're pretty much done. You've learned it all. Congratulations! You have now graduated the class of the easy automation program. <laughs> All right, I would really love to see what you guys do with this. There's a lot that's possible and yeah, have fun and I'll see you around later.